Controversy continues as families continue to do what they can to stop the Alpine School District from closing elementary school. This time it's with the help from the Utah Legislature. Fox 13 News reporter Mike Lee Gooby spoke to lawmakers and parents about their concerns. Like the, the board did not follow the process that they should have. For weeks, parents in the Alpine School District have been trying to stop elementary schools in their district from closing. They gave us opportunities for feedback, but our feedback seemed like it came too late. After hundreds of public comments, the Alpine School District Board voted to continue with the possible closure of Sharon and Valley View by the end of this school year. And our teachers are scrambling and our administrators are scrambling and nobody has clear answers or timelines and that's really stressful for everyone involved. But parents say the school board did not follow the law. There is supposed to be 120 days of public comment before changes are announced. But in this case, parents were asked to give feedback after five schools were on the chopping block to close this year. It's one thing to say, we're going to be looking at maybe changing boundaries. We're going to maybe look at if we need to change schools. But if, if you're using that as your timeline of now the clock begins, but it's so ambiguous, has the clock really begun? I don't think I don't think so. I don't think that they perhaps unintentionally fully follow the scope of the law. At a legislative then, hearing Thursday morning, lawmakers were also Let's unsure of the board's the, process. Uh, they're going to have to look at boundary line changes. They're going to have to look at school closures. And I totally get that. But you also have to follow the law. It was really good. It was validating to us as parents um, because we felt frustrated at this process. And no members of the school board or the superintendent were at the meeting, so the committee voted to subpoena them. Even though Senator Aaron Dureg voted against the motion for the subpoena, he says he does think something good can come of it. I would love to see them come and just say, just own it. This is what happened. This is what we thought we were doing. We screwed up here, we apologize, we're moving forward. This is how we propose moving forward. The Alpine School District says they can't comment on pending litigation, but they do tell us, quote, we value and appreciate patron feedback, which can be provided through the portal and at upcoming board meetings. It's just lack of transparency and communication. There are so many things that we could have avoided, including a lawsuit filed by other parents, if we could have just been heard. Senator Andereg says this process will lead to more changes in the future. Regardless of what happens with this, you're going to see several bills come from the legislature that are going to be pretty well prescriptive. If you're going to close a school, you have to do this, 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 and by these timelines. And if it's outside of that, you don't close it. The next administrative rules and general oversight committee means on June 15th. Lawmakers say they hope to get answers from the school district then and hold them accountable. At Valley View Elementary, I am Maitri Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.